Hey everybody, welcome to Buratech. This is our last episode of the year. So thank you so much if you've already liked and subscribed to this channel. It really does mean a lot to me. So I want to say happy holidays to everyone who's made this channel a success this year. It has been a really good year, not only for this YouTube channel, but for Mammoth Interactive. And I'm going to be talking a little bit about the things I want to do next year and what's in the pipeline. There's a lot of really cool things that I have planned for this channel and for my company, Mammoth Interactive. So like I said, thank you so much for liking and subscribing. At the beginning of the year, we were not monetized, but now we are monetized. And it's all thanks to you for liking and subscribing. It really does help us out when you like and subscribe and when you smash the share button. So we got a lot of shares on the internet over the years, and that has really helped us monetize. So the first thing that we're going to be doing next year is I'm going to be hosting a live stream every Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. And this is something that is going to be happening pretty much every week. I'm going to say at least two times a month, probably three or four times a month, mostly every week. Now in this live stream, you can ask me pretty much anything about coding, technology, my business, anything that you want uh, and I will basically answer it. So there's a lot of things that I like about this. You know, I started an e-learning company to help people out and this is long overdue. I really wanted to do this in the past, but for whatever reason, it just never really materialized. So every week, 9 a.m. Friday, mark it on your calendars. You can ask me anything. You got a question about coding or cryptocurrencies or technology, anything uh, that you, you can think of, uh, simply go ahead and, and uh, mark that in your calendars. The more people that show up to the live stream, the more it helps out this channel. We got over the thousand subscribers this year. I would like to get over 10,000 subscribers next year. So I need your help to do that. So if you can do that and show up to those live streams, that really helps me out. So let's talk about my business, Mammoth Interactive. So obviously with the lockdown and people learning from home, this has been a very good year. In fact, there's a lot of things that I really wish I had done previously in previous years to make this year even better. And I don't think anything is going to happen to online learning uh, in the next little while. I think the genie is absolutely out of the bottle and people are gonna want to learn online more in the future. Of course, you can't learn everything online, and I think once this is all over, some people are gonna really wanna go back to school, and that is something that you can do. I always say that you should, you need to go to school, you need to learn online, and then you need to meet people. Like, you need to really do all those things if you wanna be successful, especially as a coder. You, you can't just code and become good by yourself with YouTube videos or online courses. You can't do that. You gotta go to a class, at least take a class. You don't have to do a full degree, but you should take a class at a uh, an institution and you know if I was young today let's say I was maybe 18 to 22 I would absolutely learn as much as I can online and then maybe take a class or two um, just so I can meet people and the last thing I would do is I would absolutely network and work on my soft skills I always say that but you know it's something that's really important so next year we have really figured out how to make courses uh, very inexpensive, but have a huge amount of impact. And I always say this with any kind of business, you want to release the products that have the most amount of profit with the least amount of expenses. And this is not always possible, but we found a really good way of doing this here. And we've actually retooled our entire production line uh, to, to accommodate this. And you know, our most successful course this year was the Excel course. It raised over 100,000 on Kickstarter. Uh, you can take a look at that right here. Um, at least you can see how much we raised. I'm pretty excited about that. Now, another thing about the Excel course is that we've actually partnered with quite a number of people to start selling this huge bundle, and we're very excited. We're very excited about uh, its prospects next year, and I'm really hoping uh, that that we uh, that it does very well. If everything does really well, next year will be even better than this year. So I'm very excited about that, and of course, you know what we do is we have some fixed costs here, but really. Our business model, if we got, I'm not even joking, an extra 200 grand, which is like peanuts compared to what a lot of these other tech companies get. If we just got like a little bit of extra money, we could do and make a ton of courses. And it really does help us out when you like and subscribe and when you, you know, when you buy our stuff on Kickstarter. And if you if you have bought something from us this year, thank you. It really does help us out. We really try to produce as much content, as relative content as possible. 
you know, one of the things that we try and do again at Mammoth Interactive is to not waste anybody's time. So we get people to learn the most amount of things in the least amount of time. And, you know, that's something that I like uh, to, to do. And, you know, I tell all my instructors to do that. So, you know, this year again has been really good. So I'm looking forward to next year. We got a ton of plans and there's going to be a lot more related businesses that are going to be, uh, um, are going to be introduced next year as a part of the Mammoth brand. And they might be a uh, kind of sub brand. So like a lot of these coffee companies, they might have like their coffee and then they might have like kind of a sub brand. So we're gonna be doing that as well. Uh, there's, there's a few things that I feel is really good and uh, that's going to complement the e-learning stuff, but it's just kind of one step to the right. And I've been working on that for basically the past six months. And I'm really excited to, uh, to show everyone. So show up to the live streams, you can get kind of real time updates on what I'm working on personally and what's going to happen next year. The other thing that I did this year was I did some personal videos and I wanted to get your feedback on whether you like them or not. Um, you know, a lot of times with YouTube, I'm just the guy on a screen, but there's a lot of things behind that. You know, you see people on the screen, but there's, you know, there's humans behind the screen. And, you know, this year was particularly challenging because I have two young kids and I'm still in a, a um, an apartment. And, you know, that's been hard. It's been hard on my whole family. My kids, you know, they can't go to daycare. And it's, you know, we've had some breaks and those breaks have felt really good. So if you like those videos, I can make more of them, um, you know, and I might even make some more videos where I just kind of talk about concepts in a car. Those seem to be very popular, so I might do that next year. I'm definitely looking forward to getting a Tesla next year. That's gonna definitely happen. So. I like talking about Tesla because it's an amazing company. And as coders, you can really learn from what they, they do. Uh, it's really, really good. So to wrap up this video, uh, thanks again for liking and subscribing. Let me know the topics you want in the next year because I can tailor this, the content to pretty much anything that you're looking for. We talk about coding, success, entrepreneurship, freelancing, all that stuff, but I can talk a little bit more about some cool technology. There's a lot of really cool technology that is kind of bubbling up. And one of the things that I always recommend young people to do is that once you understand how to get good at technology, you can prioritize your learning and your skill set in an emerging technology. Now, sometimes that technology doesn't work, but other times it does. So I could talk about some of those technologies that no one's really talking about that you can maybe get a leg up on. There's a lot of really cool stuff that really nobody has really heard of, but you know, if you specialize in this, maybe two or three years down the road, you'll be one of the only people who's an expert in. And this is something I highly recommend. You know, this was the same thing for me with online courses, you know, circa 2011, the end of 2011, no one really knew how to make an online course. And well, I already knew how to make an online course. In fact, I already made one before I got my big thing on Udemy. And what, since no one knew how to do it, I had pretty much no competition and it was very easy to make money. So for me, that was online courses. And for you, I might say the things like, you know, if I had more time, I'd probably do this. So if you want those kind of topics, please let me know. So if you're listening to this, thank you so much. Happy holidays, and I'll see you in 2021.